In this video, you will learn how to calculate the average of values from every alternative sales. First of all, let's understand this example. Here I have the target and achievement values of different departments for different months. And my requirement here is to calculate the average of the target in the N column and average of the achievement in the O column. So here I need the average from every alternative sales because Every target value is on the alternative sales and every achievement values are in the alternative sales. So to calculate the average of the alternative sales, we have to combine four different functions. These are average, if, mode and column. First of all, I will explain the role of every single function here and then I will combine all the four functions together here in this cell to calculate the result. So first of all, let me use the column function here. Press equal to then type column open bracket. In the reference, I will click on the target cell. Close bracket, press enter. It has given the result of 2. Because column function simply counts the column position of the cell we select. Like this cell is on the second column. So the result is given as 2. Here, it will give the result of 3 for the third column. So now go here in the fill handle, drag this to right and here you will get the column position or the column number of every single cell here. Now after using the column function in the next row, I will use the mode function equal to mod mode. What does the mode function do is mode function returns the remainder after a number is divided by a divisor. So here I will open bracket. In the number, I will select the result of the column function, then give a comma. In the divisor, I will put 2. Now close bracket, press enter. Here the result is given as 0 because when 2 is divided by 2, there will not be any remaining value. That's why the mode function give the result of 0 here. Now go here in the fill handle, drag this to right. And here you got the result of 0, 1, 0, 1 because when the column number is divided by 2, if it is a even column, then the result will be 0 and if it is an odd column, the result will be 1. If 3 is divided by 2, then we will get 1 as a remainder. If we divide 7 by 2, we will get a remainder of 1. If we divide 8 by 2, there will not be any remainder. So in this way, mode function gives the result here. Now. After getting the 0, 1 result here, now it will be easier for us to gather the number from the 0 result cell and from the 1 result cell here by combining the if function. So in this cell, let me use the if function. Press is equal to then type the if function, open bracket. In the logical test of the if function, let's combine the mode and column. So type mod mode function open bracket in the number of the mode function combine column function open the bracket in the reference of the column function let's take this range now close the column function then give a comma and in the divisor provide 2 then close the bracket now press is equal to 0 now this logical test is checking whether the result of the division or whether the result of the mode function is 0. If it is 0, then it will gather the result from these even column values or these target values here. Now give a comma. In the value if true, select this range again. Then give a comma. In the value if false, Type double quotations two times which represents blank. Now close the bracket. When you press enter, now you see the if function has now gathered the value from the target cell like this 124, 117, 121, 172. All the target values are gathered here. If you do a modification here in this formula by double clicking, if you change this is equal to symbol to not is equal to by typing less than greater than together now what happens is now it gathers the value from the achievement column only 
if you make not equal to in the formula it will gather value from the odd cells and if you make here equal to then it will gather the value from the even columns so after we get this we can now simply combine the average function here to get the average of these values so here double click then go before the formula type the average function open bracket and go to the end close bracket now it gives us the average from every even column so now let's combine all the four functions together here for this select both of the cells then press equal to type average function open bracket combine if function open bracket combine mod mode function open bracket combine column function open bracket then in the reference of the column select this number range close bracket give a comma type 2 close bracket then is equal to 0 then give a comma in the value if true select this number range again give a comma and in the value if false type double quotation two times close bracket then close one more bracket now press ctrl enter for the average achievement slight modification in the formula is required because the achievement value are given on every odd column in case of odd column instead of this is equal to zero we have to make it not is equal to zero so remove the is equal to symbol from here and then type not is equal to symbol that is given by less than greater than symbol together now press enter and here you got the result of 139.8 this is the average achievement select these two go here in the fill handle then drag it down and you got the result for all the other months here and if you manually check one result by selecting the achievement of this January month here you see the result of 139.8 and our formula also calculated 139.8 so this is the way of calculating the average of values from every alternative sales in Microsoft Excel this much for today's video thank you very much for watching if you are visiting this channel for the first time I request you to subscribe and also turn on all the notifications so that you will get the notification of new video uploads thanks for watching we will again meet on next video tutorial